Hey guys, Craig here. Welcome back to more Mario Luigi Paper Tram. On the previous episode, we beat the Pokies. On this episode, we're going to have a Paper Tram battle. So, Baby, I need Paper Craft Key. It's here right now. <coughs> there we go. I thought we took care of those guys. Joe Hideous Paper Craft Tram can destroy our trio of troublemakers. Must you always have the last words? And it's Luigi, not Mario. It's the year of Luigi again. Hooray! The year of Luigi is really a good year in my channel. Now I think about it. Can we have a year of Luigi 2, please? With Papercraft Luigi. And of course, it's a bit of a difference because he's got a hammer. And it actually does make a bit of a difference. I apologize for ever say sniffing this episode. I can hardly breathe. So yeah. You can dance. So that's dance. And, yeah. And the music has changed. So you do have to learn new beats. Uh, but they're not that hard to learn. Honestly. Just like. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why people were messing it up so much. In the tree house. Oh yeah. I, I wasn't sure if these guys were big ones or small ones, which is pretty bad, <laughs> considering this is my second playthrough of this game in a week. Oh yeah, and for pokies, of course you want to jump on them because of hammer. Uh, and I, for I, I forgot how to do it, really, but... Oh yeah, just wait till he's stunned from not moving, from missing. And that's when you attack. I think, I'll, I think that's how you do it. you're supposed to do it anyway. Because I think if you charge, I'll probably get hit. I try. So, yeah. I was going to say there's no harm in trying, but there's harm to papercraft Luigi, so I guess. <coughs> yeah, but as you can see, this is far more OP than, you know, papercraft Mario was. So, pretty for Luigi is a better, better brother. Come on, attack! I move out of the way. I wait for a stunned Pokey to stop. So I can lunge on him with a giant hammer! Thunder! I can't deal with a blocked up nose. Probably can't deal with an unblocked nose, but. Oh, got this surprise attack there. Which caused another wee accident on the beautiful papercraft Goombas. And we dodged that. Yay, this... I don't know how I feel about the papercraft battles. I really like them, but... They're far easier than they should be. There's only one battle where I almost died. And that was because I didn't pick up the health and I was being a bit cocky. On my first playthrough. And that was... I think it's actually the next papercraft battle. Yeah, it was the next papercraft battle. Okay, let's see if I can. Long range! You prick. Long range, while I can hardly breathe. Yeah, such as like the, enemy, the bosses, you know, allow you to do this, and the enemies allow you to do this right in front of their face. A bit of peace gonna move over way, isn't it? Wow! That was easy. Oh, well, here we go, of course, with more of these guys. So, what do you guys think of the paper craft battles? I wasn't even really a big fan of them when I ever first showed them off. And the thing is, I'm even though I'm complaining now, I'm actually fine of them better than I did the f during the first release. I wasn't even sure if this game was still an RPG. I got really worried whenever I first saw the trailer. I thought it was a party game because they announced um, a Bebo festival on the same direct just before it and what they showed off for this game was a paper craft battle I didn't watch the treehouse live until the day after and I actually asked on Twitter is this an RPG game because honestly what we saw on the trailer was oh yeah flashy a flashy thing and well 
Well, there if I showed it off, Philly, uh, it was tennis. There was a tennis thing where they're hitting against the wall. I can think from always a Mario Party game, and I can't even remember the name of it. I was like, please don't be a party game. Because we saw this, which was literally a giant paper craft, and the other thing. So I was incredibly worried at one point. But luckily, my fears went away, and each trailer just made us look better and better. And more people were getting more worried whenever more trailers were coming out. Because there's nothing really original to it. But, let's be honest here, it doesn't have to be original because it's already a well. <coughs> it's already a, a, a game of already. a game series of a well has good history. And well, I didn't mean to skip that, I apologise. But it was just him taunting, probably saying, Oh yeah, you can't charge into us with this barrier. So you have to wait until the barrier drops. Which I think you understand what we have to do, don't you? Just have to wait for the barrier to get away. Uh, I can, I'm not sure if I can actually jump over the barrier, because there's no barrier on top of it. That's how I like, where is I? Um, yeah, so he's going to attack us. Ooh. And then stops. Can I attack him from above? Of course I can. I love this papercraft boss because it really does show off that Kamek is magic. Um, and a, aye, 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 aye. Jump! <laughs> I'm syncing up my videos and James and other YouTube friends know I'm doing. I remember like each time Scott and we recorded a Mark Night episode, he he would always try to do the jump on me. Shit. Okay, whenever the barrier turns red, he does like a giant explosion attack. To be fair, I wasn't. That was a hard one for me to actually dodge in that position. Wow, well, that was shit. <laughs> I also, it's funny because I, Scott did not allow James to stay on each time we record the gaming dream team. Okay, there we go. It's got a hell of a range, I was ran into it. Anyway, you can notice, and I think we're, yep, we just put him into red zone. He's a library comic now. We haven't even healed up, and we've got about five health left. Yeah! Oh, oh, you put the fools! Don't you know you're just making us matter? That's right! Wait, what are we going to do about it? We're going to magic corner, of course! Ah! <laughs> that can't be good for my throat. Ha! <laughs> I love doing this. Uh, oh, well. Oh, I'm not going to make the same mistake I did for one of my bigger um, videos I've done. Well, one of my other paper jam videos I've done. I remember someone said to me first episode, oh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to unsubscribe for me because I don't want to watch Paper Jam footage. I'm like, literally, oh, come on, I, it doesn't matter, go ahead, if you don't want to spoil a game, I would under, oh, I would understand, of course I understand, because these are my favourite game series and it's, it's an RPG, so anyone you go un unsubscribe or unfollow me, but instead of unfollowing me, like, because I know all my YouTube friends who I actually talk to through DMs uh, block me, because that's the only way I really talk to them. But a good way for them to do it is just unfollow my tweets. Which they probably already do anyway, because they don't interact with them, even if I just read it. <laughs> but I don't really care, because... Because I really just do it. I don't do it because, oh yeah, I want to be noticed on Twitter and all. I literally use Twitter mainly for DMs. And other than that, I use it to update my channel and all. So of course, if you want... Oh, I'm flashing red. Be right back. Oh. 
Okay, back. What? The, oh, oh no, no, no! Oh, that was by a chance attack, wasn't it? What? Oh, damn it! Wait, it's got a barrier, so can I just attach? Oh well, I screwed up. Uh, of course. Oh, that was a nice dodge. My part there. It's not often I do really good dodges, but whenever I do them, I do them very well. Damn it, Tomic! This guy is such a magic, magical troll. Yes, I. But of course, I only got one more hit on him, so it's not like I'm really worried. Where, where's his magical barrier, which he's going to use on me? So, so we look, but wow, we're closely aren't we? <laughs> Cal, wait a second. I need some more power to defeat you. <laughs> Just look at him dancing in the background. He can literally teleport over to me and attack me, but no. Because the boss needs us to be OP enough to beat him, he's going to win us. Boom! Okay, I knew I wouldn't work as well as I hoped. Oh shit. That was a good move. I'm not seven up. Oh yeah! Okay, we won. And of course, no XP, but what I'm so we win here. We will retribution work, super mushroom, tan candy, and a double wall up mushroom. Not too shabby. Ah! We could have had him if our paper craft weren't so ugly. Let's go, we need to think of a new strategy. What's the ugly part really necessary? Okay, I know this is going to be a short episode, but that's because next episode is going to be jam packed with story stuff. So thank you guys all for watching, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll hopefully see you guys all next time, when we're gonna go into Bowser's Castle. So hopefully see you guys all then, bye.